I think uh, he's gotten really far in Xanadu with DDD before, like Grand Finals. I think that's why I recognize his name. Okay, DDD Terry, wow. Is Kalito a DDD? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, I want to make sure I have the, same, the names right here. Yeah, DDD versus Terry. Uh, I think King DDD is a very strong Wi Fi character. Um, an annoying character online as much as it is offline, but he's definitely a very strong character just because he's he had Gordo at the ledge, man, is it, just such a punishing thing. And then things like dash attack, down tilt. I don't know. I, I have a vendetta against King, King Dedede, so I can tell you that this character isn't as free as you think. It's more of a character you kind of have to respect in regards. And if you can, even when you think you're comboing him, he can use that multiple jumps that he has to punish you. But man, immediately you can tell that Chavez is not going to let King Dedede get any breathing space here at the ledge and use that go meter as effective as possible. Oh, nice answer here, bro. I kind of expected Shave to hang back a little bit and just kind of like use the threat of him having like gold meter to scare his opponent and really overextend. But uh, a lot of Terry's do make that mistake. Yeah. Also, the thing that's interesting in this match is oh my god, that power dunk just completely did so much damage and hit the Gordo back. But uh. Yeah, it's rough. Like, I, I didn't expect the Gordos to be used very much in neutral. It's because Terry has a really good projectile uh, with the power wave. I, I kind of expect him to just hit B every time that Gordo comes out. Yeah. But uh, Kalito's using them still in some interesting spots. It's not it's easy to punish. All right. Oh, See, nice. that, yeah, that dash attack at the ledge, man, it lasts... The hitbox lasts longer than you think, and it's delayed as much as you would. It is way more delayed than you thought it would be. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've died to that dash attack on Wi-Fi. But that's why I tell people, man, King Diddy isn't as free as you think he is. Yeah. Most definitely on Wi-Fi. He's one of those characters you just cannot sleep on. Offline yeah. or online. Like, some people disregard this character as, like, a low tier. Nah, don't sleep, don't sleep on the Penguin, man. Yeah, he's, his strengths are pretty good, like ledge trapping especially. Um, and even in this matchup too, like Terry just has a lot of uh, angles on his recovery that don't snap the ledge immediately. And uh, that DD just eats op the options like that up all day, as you saw with the dash attack. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't know. I didn't see how Chave died so early. Uh, I guess I must have missed something. I didn't realize he was in such a big deficit. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yes, two. Honestly, maybe it wasn't a good choice to go FD game one. I think giving uh, Kalito all that space to get the Gordo setups, regardless of how good Terry is playing around him, just wasn't that well advised. I, I definitely like this choice better. PS2. Nice. Traveling shield. Okay. Oh, that. Oh, that was such a good edge guard with the dash attack. Okay. Got that uh, power dunk to the ledge. Still, that was so scary. He almost died so early. Okay, trying to cover the ledge here. Kind of surprised not seeing that many uh, tilts come out from Shadow. But oh my god, Burn Knuckle going through everything. Yeah, I think it's good to use Burn Knuckle at the ledge the way that Kalito has been setting himself at the ledge up there. So it's good to just punish him that way. Yeah, he can just burn through like all the Gordo and still yeah. hit uh, DV for that. Two for one special, man. That's kind of what you want to get. You want the best deal as possible. You gotta be careful with these jump-ins, though. That's, yeah, oh, that's, damn. you know why? Because if you set up for Gordo there, or set up for a roll beat, essentially, Shave just gets to go all around and then punish him with a very hard hit. That's what I'm saying. The best two-for-one special he can get was that situation there. Yeah, it's just the angle that he's doing Gordo. It's not hard for Terry to just power dunk over it and hit him. I mean, he even has power waves, too. Like, he just has a lot of moves that is really good at dealing with Gordo. Oh, he tried to get Power Wave into Buster Wolf. I actually have never seen that before, but it makes perfect sense. Oh my god, just barely had enough invincibility frames on neutral get up. Oh, dude, even DD's he's dead to that. Damn, that combo is disgusting. Power Geyser. 
Power guys was good too. Power guys Okay, and this is like where you never want to be against Terry. You're down by like all these stocks. <laughs> he has go. Like, you pretty much, you still have to camp him because if you start running into him because you're behind, you're going to get blown up by all of these. <laughs> look, how, look how much percent that was. 94. Yeah, he got the good down throw too. Oh, no. Wow, that's it. Yeah. Wrap oh, on. no. This is the ultimate snowball character. Yeah, bro. It, dude, it is. If you don't kill Terry with, when Go is activated, you put yourself in such a tough spot. He even got, like, the down throw rising tackle to be, like... When you get that, that's 35%. And then Terry gets to land, and then he gets to shark you with Go activated on. Oh, yeah. It's, like, the worst spot ever. True fundies. For real, for real. <laughs> when that Go is active... Is a whole different game. It is a whole different game. I think I think Go is, I think Go is like effectively hard, like as scary to deal with as Arsene. Like there are so many meters in this game. I think like it's definitely as scary as Arsene because it lasts forever. Especially in that situation though, right? yeah. like you're already behind, so you have to approach. It's it's basically scary Arsene with the situation of like you have to be 100 percent plus. Yeah. Oh damn that. Four air was so good. He hit the Gordo back in his face and he got the hitbox too. Like so much percent. Oh uh, yeah, see Chavez is starting to get the timings of how he should deal with Gordo now. Yeah. As like I think that's the one thing about King Deity where he struggles. Is effectively he still has a full chart. There isn't there's a few mix-ups he's got, but still like he has to kind of rely on using Gordo in the neutral as his best neutral option to kind of force you into options, into an option select. And even at then, if you're Shave, you know how to just call that out. And what a great way to go to Rising Tackle Bruh. and take the stock, man. Shave is. We talked about that auto turnaround, man. It's not fair. He was down tilting <laughs> the opposite direction. It, DD just he just stood up and he's like, actually, I'm kicking you now. <laughs> the auto turn around mechanic hurts the soul in this game. I think. King oh, right. oh yeah, yeah, that hurts. You know what though? If you were a little bit closer off the ledge, that would have been fine because I would have stopped him. But he was yeah. just too too far off. But the way that Kalito was already charging that forest match, it's like he knew he was gonna miss that. <laughs> The funny thing too is that um, if you guys hate auto turnaround mechanics, man, just watch any of K9's videos. Like you would have definitely understood why this mechanic is so rage inducing. But uh, nonetheless, here's Shave at the ledge trying to get the use of forward air. I'm I would love to see him continue to just hold tilts at the ledge. Like the is so big and his ledge options are so poor that he can just cover so many options that way. Yeah. And since a lot of his combos are started from those tilts. <laughs> It can be a lot of reward, but his air dodges into the ledge getting punished pretty heavily now. Okay, gets the... Oh! Yeah, that was good, that was good. He held shield, still able to dodge the back of here. See, this is the, like, the patience are like. This is some fun to hear from Shave. Just because you get the stage... Ooh, for, got him. Just because you get out of the ledge doesn't mean you get the stage for free. Your opponent still has options to call you out with things like back air and Gordo. So he retreated back towards off the stage and tried to find another way. Even though he lost the stock, I still commend him for that play. Oh, he's in a bad spot, though. Okay, good patience there. Kind of kind of slowly getting back here. He's got him at 95, man. If we get some of the lead situation, you know Terry can definitely take him out here. Forward throw. Watch the recovery. Yeah, because that, if he went for, I think it was side B, yeah, he would have definitely gotten punished from the dash attack. Oh, man. I was getting really thirsty for this kill. He's taking a lot of percent. Lito finds another no, yeah. back there. He went for a higher recovery there, and that kind of cost him the back air at the light situation. Oh, Great way to go for Burning Knuckle. Two for one. Oh, he's trying to get the poke. Oh, that was good. That was yeah. a good attempt. Go meter activated. He has to go for this low recovery. Oh, no. Damn. Kalito has all the jumps and all the resources to just meet him at the bottom of the stage. He's not afraid. Jesus was like, yeah, you're going low. Oh, I, I love, I love when they go low. <laughs> I love when they go low. Thank you, thank you for the free spikes. 